In this video, I'm going to walk you through what you'll be doing in the pipe cleaner lab in physics. So the first thing you'll need to do is there are nine different laminated sheets, each with vector or each with free body diagrams on them that look something like this one. You'll need to pick up one of those sheets. The next thing you'll need to do is take some pipe cleaners and fold them into arrows that match the length and direction of the arrows on your free body diagram. I'm drawing my arrows instead of folding pipe cleaners because that was a little bit easier for me to record a video of uh, to show you what I'm doing. But the key thing is to make sure that the length and the direction match the arrows on your free body diagram. The next thing you're going to do is turn this free body diagram into a vector addition diagram. You're going to do that by picking up your pipe cleaner arrows and moving them so that instead of all starting at the same spot, they line up tip to tail, just like I'm doing here by dragging my arrows around. Once you've done that, you'll sketch that vector addition diagram in your packet as well. The last step is going to be to select which of the five statements at the beginning of the activity best describe your scenario. So there are two things that those statements talk about. The first is whether the forces are balanced. As I look at my vector addition diagram, it makes a closed shape, which tells me that these forces are balanced. The other thing it asks about is whether the forces are equal. As I look at this, my upward arrow is 10 squares, and so is my downward arrow. And so those two forces are equal, but in opposite directions. As I look at my horizontal, my arrow to the right is five spaces, and so is my arrow to the left. So I have a situation where the vertical forces equal each other and the horizontal forces equal each other. So the best description for that one is going to be statement A. And in your packet, it's totally all right if you just write the letter rather than the entire statement, if that's easier for you. Once you've got those three things, your free body diagram, your vector addition diagram, and your statement, you are ready to trade in your laminated sheet to do another station, and you can do them in any order. So I'm looking forward to seeing you again tomorrow to see how you did with this.